Some workers are hoping to get a second chance to stop hundreds of jobs from leaving Fond du Lac and going to Oklahoma. Mercury Marines Union voted down a new contract last Sunday, but now some are having second thoughts and looking to see whether another vote can happen. Fox 11's Lindsay Baramus has balanced coverage on this effort to keep 850 jobs in Fond du Lac. The vote is in, but the decision for union members in Fond du Lac may not be over. It seems to have picked up a little momentum in the shop now. Lead negotiator Dan Longsign says since the Sunday vote and a Tuesday meeting between Mercury President Mark Schwabero and union leaders, a number of members have reconsidered their choice. You're going to have some people that uh, have... Uh, lack of better word, buyer's remorse. Longsign says many hope terms would change after the Tuesday talks. While the company says the meeting was to clarify the proposal, not change it. Mercury says the contract is in final form, but the company is open to a second vote. If the union has a change of heart, a company spokesperson says manufacturing jobs could still remain here in Fond du Lac. The vote is entirely the responsibility of the union. So it is completely up to them if they have a vote or how they would have a vote. Longsign says union rules allow for a second vote, but he believes three or four changes must be made to the contract first. Whether clarifications count as a change, he'll have to wait and see. He's expecting a call from district leaders Thursday. It's a mess and no one's happy about it. I know I'm not, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what what happens. Still, he knows the clock is ticking. Mercury's proposed contract will expire Saturday at midnight. In Fond du Lac, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. Both Mercury Marine and the union say the door is open for either party to reconsider. Meanwhile, the Fond du Lac City Council met in closed session tonight to discuss ways to keep the company here. Mercury says it is comfortable with moving production to either state.